And here we go, we're back again with the Renegade Masters. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? <laughs> really Great. Good, huh? <laughs> I managed. To, I managed to take a few a few uh, characters uh, in the last episode, and I guess the question ten. you have to question you have to ask now is: is that just the beginning of my bloodlust, or has it now been sated? I guess we'll find we know out. You're right? a lusty man, Judge Sack. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, uh, Judge Sack. This has been a pleasure, as I said in the intro, um, as always. And uh, I hope you're having as much fun killing us as we are having. Being mercilessly Dive. slaughtered. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Erin, good to see you again. And, Hello. Of, and of course, Phil, um, thank you for joining. I hope you're all uh, enjoying the, the game, uh, uh, watching the game as well. Uh, feel free to come and talk to us on Discord. Uh, the links for Discord are in our YouTube comments down below. And uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's crack on. So, um, Judge Zach, can we get a quick rundown of what happened in the last episode? Sure thing. Um, if if I can just uh, do a quick bit of advertising myself as well. I mean, yeah, this, is a, this is this is my road crew game. Um, you know, DCC has a similar sort of uh, similar sort of thing to you know D and D, where they've got the Adventurers League. We've got the DCC Road Crew in um, in DCC. So this is a, actually a public game. So if you do join that um, Discord. Come and have a chat, say hello, and uh, you know you might be able to find yourself on the on the show if you if you so wish. Yeah, absolutely. Um, At the beginning of every like mini campaign, we do a call for players, so um, there will be, I, I'm sure, a call for players in in a few episodes' time. Let's do it. Uh, right. So you discovered, uh, you know, uh, again, what what, uh, what we know as a trope of a, a, a wizard's workshop, if you will. There's a smallish uh, work table covered in glassware. Uh, there are cabinets that line the walls with beakers and jars that are containing all sorts of reagents that you don't immediately recognize. Um, and there's also, you see the air gently blow from a round hole uh, covered uh, by a grate near the ceiling. Um, to remind anyone who's uh, joining us for the first time or, or rejoining us, uh, if you haven't uh, listened to the last episode for some time, uh, the characters are in uh, a, a, a complex being followed by strange lights. Uh, they're in a complex that's uh, below the uh, cave of secrets that they came here to try and attempt to find the secret of uh, where in the heck is the black pearl uh, in order to be able to appease their master maybe that's a maybe that's a reach you know but regardless he's got some collateral over the party um, as they did break creditor? his interdimensional travel <laughs> yeah credit out yeah yeah, yeah. yeah we owe money to <laughs> associate yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but still, yeah, quite a powerful associate. Associate in the uh, in the mob sense, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Mm. Uh, cool. And so, yeah, you're in this you're in this room, which on the image that we're showing now is in the uh, on the north side. There, uh, they've left the body of their uh, electrified uh, party member in that checker plate uh, room there, uh, with uh, the with the, the body of uh, a dwarf dumped on top. <laughs> just for good measure yeah. and just above that uh, is where they are now goodness so, me in, uh, in true uh, you know 70s and 80s fashion I must ask what do you do well um, Brody opened the door into the kind of apothecary wizards um, mm -hmm. kind of workshop and uh, mm -hmm. I was going to step inside and start have a look at what's what have we got? Yeah, I don't think um, his detect evil will still be hanging around, so we we can't check that out. But he's going to he's already you know he, he already thinks this place is uh, is uh, kind of uh, steeped in in nastiness, so he's going to be quite cautious. But he's going in to have a look. Okay. So what can we see? Can we see Ivan Ivan Newton, toe of frog, and things like that? So yeah, there's a there's a whole heap of reagents. They've all been labelled and and uh, carefully alphabetically sorted. Uh, I'm not sure if your character would be able to pick up on uh, the alphabetical sorting, but that is the nature of them anyway. Um, and and they are all labelled. You know, you've got you know bad hair day in a bottle, chody tongue, uh, dog of the hair of the dog of the horse. 
<laughs> Demon dung, eye of newt. There's an empty jar that's labeled uh, owlbear fur. There's like oh. spare deaf leopard arm. Um, I mean, do you need to keep going on? Or? Yeah, yeah. Oh, more puns. More puns. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness me! Um, I mean, um, Brody's intelligence is kind of middle of the road. He's just you know ordinary guy, so mm-hmm. he's probably spotted eventually. But when he gets to about M, yeah, that it's mm-hmm. in alphabetical order. Right. Cool. <laughs> so, cool. Um, so moving in, is there a, is there another way out of here? Is there another door? There's no doors. Uh, okay. There, there is that. There is that hole in the roof. Um, okay. But uh, but no no door. But looking up at the hole in the roof. Yeah, that, so the hole in the roof is um, maybe yeah, four or five inches around, um, and it has like a like a grate a couple of inches into it, sort of thing. Um, is that a bit like the? Because we saw a, a kind of tunnel and a grate like that before, didn't we? With which is where Gem mm. Rat came and from, rat. I think. Is that right? Anyone, like, anyone like that? listening to this? Uh, anyone listening to this later, you know, on on replay, won't be as amazed because it was only you know an hour ago. But it's actually a month or a month and a bit ago in real time. Um, that's <laughs> really good memory. Yes, that is exactly what it is. It's the same as the previous one. Okay. Um. Uh. So, Gem's rap form. Yeah, mm-hmm. we've had we tried to communicate before. Mm-hmm. Because. Um, <laughs> yeah, squeak, <laughs> shrug, <laughs> eye roll. But, um, but uh, I mean, do you, I know you can go in there, but do you want me to help you get up to there, or is that like a no no? So, uh, if you remember, we were doing blink one for a yes and blink twice for a no. <laughs> do you want me to lift you up to that grate? Oh, one, that's a yes. One blink. Alright. Okay, unfortunately, um, how high up is it? Uh, so we're talking 10, 15 feet? We're going to need a, a hand, I think. Mm. Um, Brody, I'm just trying to think. So Brody's about six foot, Barbo's about four. That's, uh, that's still not enough to get you up there. How could we help get Gem? Up to that grate, or there in the seat. There's a there's a there's a workbench in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the thing. Oh, like I, a, like a I mean, like a butcher's table. Yeah, no, I'm not. I mean, as, I'm not trying to coach you, but I feel like that's my bad description rather than that's okay. Anything else, is, that, yeah, is, yeah. That, is that movable? Zip. Yeah, yeah. So it's a smallish work table. It'll probably put, probably right. make the uh, it'll it'll probably change the distance from about ten or fifteen feet away back to you know. I mean, let's call it you know back Six back to seven. back to ten six. Seven, yeah, there we yeah. go. Okay. Zeb suggests just throwing the rat <laughs> towards the hole to see if it'll go. Well, who, the, the eyes, Jim's um, eyes on the rat look really. Who threw, uh, who threw the dwarf as a weapon in, in the last <laughs> session? Who did that? They, they've got that a good aim. She was still outside. Oh, we can't get Yarlo to throw the rat up. All right, so um, Brody and Barbo will pull the uh, the bench to underneath the grate, and then um, Brody's going to climb on top. We'll, we'll move some Eye of Newt and the empty owl bear and the deaf leopard arm out of the way, and <laughs> <laughs> and um, Barbo's going to pass Gem up if that's okay to uh, Brody, and then Brody's going to lift Gem up to the grate. And uh, see if we can lift her right up there and get her there. Cool. Yep. So all that all that happens. Um, you know, uh, that's that's yeah. It, it all looks like that, uh, and you're able to get it get up to the uh, get up to the grate. Um, now, uh, we we could go to the effort of um, kicking everyone out and and. Uh, and just role playing through uh, to just Aaron, um, but just to try and uh, save a little bit of the work, it's going to take you to the same place that you were in before. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, so Aaron, I'm the not sure if you want to. The, the same place that the party were in before, or the same place that Jem the Rat was in before. 
That second one. So it's okay. going to take you to that same place. But last time you and me were just role playing by ourselves. That's mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. where that that that's where it's going to lead. Um, mm-hmm. So uh, you know, I'm not sure if you want to visit that place again and do the whole role play, or whether you're satisfied that that is where it is, or it's up to yeah, you. I mean. Uh, you- the so gem scurries along the uh she tells the rat to scurry along the the pipe and plops mm-hmm. out the other end and then clocks it's the same place mm-hmm. and then scurries back right cool cool uh okay. so gem reappears at the grate um brody brody offers his hand to give a chance for the rat to come down the rat steps onto it, slightly gnaws your finger, uh, and, uh, with the excuse of sort of trying to hold on. Um, so then, uh, your kind of eye level. Then um, we'll try again. So, um, Gem, was that useful? So yes, is one blink. No, is two. Oh, yeah. Oh, a, a slow blink. Is that a no blink or a slow, a slow blink? <laughs> we've, what what, we've what lost, does three mean? We've lost, we've lost communication <laughs> with us already. Our simple system has already failed. Um, okay, so I'm going to put the rat down on the table. You go and explore, do what you want. Uh, so that, that didn't really help, guys. So um, I, I, I can I can imagine that you've probably lost track of which eyes are the rats and which are gems, and so you're watching the rat's <laughs> eyes blink as well. And there's like... <laughs> two sets of so eyes just blink. Okay. So, um, just a, a quick shifty around the room. Is there anything that uh, that looks of any kind of like value, either for reuse or monetary? I, I mean, glassware is is pretty like rare. Yeah, you know, indeed, like it, but, you know, but yeah, but I mean, I, yeah. I can't even keep people alive. I don't think I'm going to be taking any glass. <laughs> yeah, there's, there, there's. Let, let's put it this way: it doesn't seem like there's a lot of use to your characters in this okay. room um yeah i mean there is there is obviously lots of stuff that is maybe yeah. beyond your comprehension of being able to be useful or valuable but to you it just kind of yeah all right some of it's shiny you know some of it's got okay. labels on it but you know that's it in that case uh my guys are happy to wander out and give other people the opportunity to have a look around whilst that was all happening would Yale have had the opportunity to like kind of come in, have a look at the, the table, have a look around, and then maybe try and cobble together some way of mending her battle axe. Yeah, sure. So there's like some drawers and stuff that have got like some um, uh, leather straps and, and so forth that you could strap the head back on with and you know, things like that. Yeah, you could you could fix I, that. I could imagine I mean, she's not overly intelligent, so she's probably going to be like completely misusing some really expensive intricate lab equipment <laughs> you pull out pull out some of the chody tongues and you know yeah. like just <laughs> lather, lather that on there and, and then, yeah. oh, exactly um stick it uh, stick it on with some elbow grease i think gruvex sort of kind of looked in god i guess i weren't in traps then <laughs> yeah yeah we didn't find and, any uh, that's it yeah, cool, cool. Where where do we go next, guys? Shall we try the double doors? This is Zeb. Well, straight on. Let's go and have a look. Cool. Over That's where you want to go? Over to the double doors. The double yeah. doors. Brody Brody comes out and has, kind of glances back at the uh, the other door that goes back because he's still interested in getting back to where he thinks the whatever it is is under that stair but we'll go to the double doors and see what happens all right cool if you survive the double doors you can look back under the oh. uh <laughs> under the thing all right let's uh related let's... what's your armor class <laughs> <laughs> so agree with we'll, we'll have another look and see if he can spot any obvious physical traps um looking on the double doors any... yeah the double doors so looking first of all to see if there are any more of those stupid gems um, mm-hmm. and then thinking back to the nature of some of these other traps, looking to see if there are any panels or um, that might move or um, 
if there is anything obvious that looks like a kind of extra mechanisms around the actual lock itself, if there is one. There's no lock, but uh, I tell you what, the um, let, let's let's roll up the die chain for that amazing description of all the things that you're looking for. <laughs> I'll take it. Um, <laughs> so that will be uh, non-natural twenty. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, you look over it, and the uh, the door looks to be. Um, do you know what? It's more. I mean, you've seen ornate doors at the entrance of this place and so forth, and certainly you've seen ornate work elsewhere. Um, but the other doors that you came through at the beginning of the um, of the uh, complex were, were quite simple. These ones are a little bit more ornate, um, but they do not look trapped in your professional opinion. Mm. Um and uh, yeah, they have some. They have a like, rather large sort of like worm um, circling back on itself uh, mm. around the around that that goes through because they're double doors, right? So that goes around the threshold sort of thing. Yeah, um, around either side. Um, so it goes. Oh, I can't see anything obvious. It might not be trapped. And Yale will pick up one of the uh, one of the corpses and throw it at the door. <laughs> Goodness <laughs> me! Okay, so you throw it against the door, and the the doors thump and swing open um, freely. And uh, Don't you, you just wonder what's going on with you. Like I've seen you robbing the dead, using people's <laughs> corpses as weapons, and now as a tool. What's going on? <laughs> You're a resourceful <laughs> bunch. <laughs> You thought you knew Farg, and you thought he was better than this, but the family, yeah. the yeah. family line, just doesn't follow on. Yeah, it's, Farg it's now rubs up on all of us. It's, it's, it's now becoming clear, isn't it? <laughs> Where he got it from? Right, go on. Sorry, that's Scott, fine. Hey, this is this is role play, right? Um, so the uh, what you see as you look upon, you can see the massive, massive columns that hold up uh, a cathedral ceiling high above you. So, you know, we're talking more like 25, 30 feet at, at this point rather than the 10 or 15 that you've seen thus far. Um, the uh, And you see a statue of a gigantic earthworm that towers over a large bowl that's on a pedestal in the center of the room. Um, and the around all around the room, floor to ceiling, right, and, and, and circumventing the whole room, is uh is that the right word circumventing circumspect yeah. whatever is is uh from floor to ceiling are carved runes uh, are in are in the walls um the way that the letters wrap around the entire room uh make it sort of seem like the entire room spells a single word um, from from a quick glance, it's sort of like the way that the way that they're spaced and so forth. You know, there's like a little insignia in the middle, sort of thing that uh, is shaped like a worm. makes you makes you feel like that this is a this is one word that's spelled all around all around the room. So that's what you see there. Let's um, put it back on the map here so that you can see in relation to where you've been, where you are now. Uh, so that's that's where you are now. You got some doors uh, littered around the room as well. Some double doors in the in the north wall there, uh, as well as some doors in the in the south. Oh, and some doors in the in the east. There's so many doors in this place, you guys. <laughs> right? Like they did not skin the the door budget was high when they built this particular room. Uh, and they're getting better and better quality as we come across. Yeah, them. right. Yeah. Right. Obviously, yeah. they built those doors first, and then it's got further and further out towards <laughs> yeah, the entrance. They kind of run out of money. You know, I just slam some B and Q doors on there. Who cares? You know, towards the end, you <laughs> we know, don't want right. people to come in. So let's make it look shit. Uh, <laughs> um, Grivex is going to go straight in, and it's going to have a kind of look around. He's intelligent enough that he's probably clocked the things that you've you've described and he's going to mm. look to see if there's any letters on the other side of the doors uh yeah so the 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 so the letters continue across the back of the doors as i say it goes like right around the yeah. room sort of okay. thing so it's written on all the other doors as well uh, you know like it, yeah, it goes goes right around just like every single it's just like one continuous kind of thing um Okay, and then he's going to look and see if there's any obvious 
like break that would demark the beginning or you know, beginning and end of the word. Yeah, I mean, it could be right to left as well, right? But yeah, there is a, as I say, there is a signia uh, that's like a similar sort of like uh, a robberous sort of shape of the, um, but a bit in a worm sort of thing. Mm. Uh, yeah, in, in between some of them. Okay, I missed that bit of a description. Um, mm -hmm. Cool. So he's, um, he's kind of thinking, oh, this this is cool. Um, <laughs> really? I wonder That's if we should um, we could close the doors and then we could actually read it properly. Yeah. Uh, we could do that. Can we do that once everyone's inside? I mean, so we yeah, all move in. Let's, let's go for it. Yeah. Cool. Seven. Okay. Rem Jat. Rem, Rem Jat? Jim Rat. <laughs> Jim Rat. <laughs> yeah. Um, so anyone who wants to try and read around the walls and stuff can make a, uh, a DC 15 intelligence, or if you're a thief, you can use your read languages skill. Uh, if you have, if you speak, uh, if you speak any special languages, which I suspect you don't, uh, then we can add add some stuff for the check. But uh, why don't you call out if you've uh, got any languages you think might be uh, appropriate? Um, Jem can speak common orc, elf, and chaotic. Can just speak chaotic in like in general, like yes. <laughs> <laughs> the, the only uh, the only uh, tongue that um, we've got that's unique, I guess, is <clears throat> excuse me. Barbo can speak hobgoblin. Right, cool. So Gro cool. Groovex can speak. Obviously, thieves can and and common gnome, but also has read languages and rolled seventeen. Okay, cool. Uh, then let that character add a plus five to their check, uh, which was a uh, DC fifteen intelligence, or if you're a thief, read languages. got a 16 for um, Yarp who's the only one that's got any amount of intelligence about him cool anyone who is able to read the thing on the wall uh, can see that that I've just put in our in our private chat here sorry to anyone watching but <laughs> in, in the private chat. so so <laughs> Yarp's gonna <laughs> read it, and he says, "She gazel nizzle throb." So you're kind of saying it out loud as you like sort of. Uh, yeah, and he's, and he's like, gonna say it a third time. I think. And, and I think Groovex Gro Gro will say, nizzle. "No, don't be ridiculous." It says, "She gazel nizzle throb." <laughs> oh, so, so as you guys uh, are saying this, the the entire like <laughs> room that you're in. And the way that it's shaking, you feel like maybe the entire complex begins to shake. Dust is falling from the from the roof, and like you know, some some of the walls begin to make unnatural creaks because they're not wooden and they're creaking, right? Mm. Um, creaking and shoving around. This happens for several seconds and then begins to calm down. That's after the first person reads it, and you guys read it like four times. So then, yeah. You, yeah, there's a gap in between each time you say it. Shiga nil zil throb, you know. Shiga nil zil throb. You think maybe we shouldn't have said shiga nil nil throb? Stop it! Stop it! Yeah. <clears throat> So that's okay. what you got. For the fourth time, Zeb looks at them, having Candyman. not been able to read <laughs> the word, uh, but having heard everybody say it four times, then looks puzzled and goes, Shikas news a little throb. What sort of yeah. word is that? <laughs> okay, yeah, this is feeling like beyond what... I don't know. I don't even know what we're doing here. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I why, stopped knowing why? what we were doing here a long time ago. <laughs> but why, why are we in somewhere that? I mean, this is clearly like deity stuff. I'm, uh, I'm not really happy. It feels like we're in a, a different church. Uh, Brody kind of heads back to the double doors. Mm -hmm. More than happy to open that door up again. 
The one that we sure. came through, or the other mm. one? Uh, the, the double doors that we came through. So okay. can I open the door so I can break the cycle of the word? <laughs> so people stop trying to read it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, cool, you do that. Okay, As he so... opens the door and breaks the word, um, Zeb has another go at saying it. Shizzle, niggas, this is Yeah, it's a... <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, that oh, work. oh so the room, the room vibrates even stop. when the door's open. Stop calling well, okay, so... What happens in the other... Yale is a, a chaotic... Uh, kind of banditty warrior is, is going Shikazil Nisrub Shikazil Nisrub Shikazil Nisrub I can't get it right Shikazil Nisrub I mean the probably says it like 10 time. times the thing, the, thing, the thing that Barbo noticed it was Barbo that was leaving wasn't it yeah uh, no Brody that went to open the Brody. doors Bro- Brody Brody having left the room it has effectively confirmed that it is not just the room that's shaking yeah. it's it's the, the whole entire place, is shaking. place is shaking. Yeah. Please stop calling the demon from the deep. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, so yeah, Grivex is going to have a look at that other set of double doors, the ones to the north. Okay. All right, cool. Haven't learned your lesson about splitting the party, but that's cool. We'll, we'll well, do I don't this. see any reason why we <laughs> want to leave. Oh, well, I'm not leaving. Brody's just opened the doors to break the chain. He thought he was going to stop the room from shutting. Oh, right. Okay. I thought you I thought you were actually like, nah, I'm out of here. <laughs> no, no, but he's, he, he can confirm that the outside is shaking too. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. thought I was going to be able to teach another lesson about splitting the party there. That's a shame. Well, it's only, um, it's only Brody that's splitting the party. The rest of us are still in this room. <laughs> so you so you open the you open the north door, yeah? Yeah. Um as soon as you do, growls and hisses and shrieks uh erupt from the from from the door, all sorts of it's just like it's a cacophony of uh of hideous sounds. Uh iron cages line the walls with an assortment of uh of all sorts of beasts from far-flung regions. There's there's two spiny hounds that leap in front of you. Uh, they look like this. Check this out. Probably all terrified. Oh, ah, oh my word! Uh, look at the eyes. Two spiny hounds mm. leap in fr- in the ground in front of you. Both have enormous eyes with strong grey irises on their flanks, and uh, and they trot towards you, sort of like like sideways, like mm. getting up at you like that. Um, on, on on three pairs of legs as they what? as they're going along, Chuff. all the while hissing and tossing their heads from side to side. So let's uh, let's do some let's do some more uh, fighting. Yeah. 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 What is wrong with all you people? <laughs> <laughs> That's fifteen from so, me. So, I should say as well the just just in case the uh, the impact of the uh, of the creatures in front of you has um, diminished the impact of the room description. Uh, you, there there are iron cages around the around the walls, mm. and all the growls mm. and shrieks and hisses weren't just coming from this thing. There's there's actually yeah. a heap of a heap of different animals and stuff in 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 each of these cages and so forth. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's that. And are they similar right. looking in the the covered in eyes and look a bit mutant? Uh, they they're similar looking in the fact that they are weird as heck. <laughs> um, you know, there's, there's like all there's like all sorts of like different types of animals. Um, in the middle of a in the middle of a melee, and like immediately, you're probably not going to be able to pick up all of them. But if during the fight, if you take a moment to survey the room, then I can give you more information on that. But um, but um, just you, just quickly though, essentially these are out of the cages, but the others are in cages. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, okay. yep. That's the, that's the one. Um, okay. I've rolled a 15 for initiative. Same. Cool. If only I didn't lose my pick. Where's my freaking pen? All right. So we got a 17 on both fills. 15. 15. Oh. 
17, yeah, yeah, we both got 17, honest. No, no, I got 50. <laughs> <laughs> so <did> I. <laughs> okay, uh, who's got the highest agility score out of you two? Uh, let's have a look. Probably other Phil. Um, I've got a agility of six, sorry, and a 15. Yeah, you win. And the 13. 15, 13, and six. Okay, Aaron, what's your initiative? 13. 13. Cool. Uh, so we are going to go with Phil and then Dark Orb Phil. Okay, so um, Bar- Brody's obviously at the door. So Barbo um, uh, is still kind of reeling. He's still carrying around his short sword, thinking he's the bee's knees. Um, <laughs> he's never seen anything like these dogs before. And so he's swinging wildly yeah, to try and uh, keep them away from him. Mm-hmm. So let's go for that. So we've got uh, a 11... Uh, plus two for melee attacks of 13. 13 is going to miss. Oh, only just mm. though. They're just too quick, those dogs. Um, legs, right? Makes them pretty yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, mm. uh, and, you know, an extra eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They saw so, you coming. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you, Yarp's going to go. Um, for an attack with his staff. Uh huh. Um, that's a just a second. So that's a fourteen on the dice. Um, so it's fifteen. Fifteen also misses. Oh my word! And then okay, right. then uh, he tries to. Um, uh, he missed with his staff, but he's just going to try and bash it with his shield to avoid being mm-hmm. hit. Uh, that's a 15 on a 16 dice. So 15 still a miss. Oh, yeah. Just a second, wait. I get, just a second, I get stuff from my shield. What do I get? I get a plus one. Um, yeah, just plus one. So that's 16. Well, if it, it's it's the dwarf, right? So you get your yeah. lead die as well. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Which I didn't even roll. Which is a three. Yeah, that'll hit. Yeah. yeah. Hey, with the shield bash. Mm-hmm. Um, so um, that's a D3 of damage as well. Um, plus, let's have a look. Just that. So it's just three. So I've got a two. So two points of damage with the shield. Okay. So you dong it into the into the shoulder of this thing and it sort of like steps backwards on its side you know like it, the, the way that these things walk it's kind of like you know like when a cat like arches it back yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah it's trying to look like as that's big the way as possible. that it moves Love yeah it. that's the way that's the way it moves uh cool so that's all your characters isn't it so it's dark or phil's turn uh, well yeah brody's miles away so he's not doing anything from there Oh no! If you've got a character, sorry, I forgot you. Yeah, I've got Brody at the doorway, but uh, I mean, it, uh, all he's doing at the moment really is moving, moving back across to to help everybody out. He's not going to get there in time. Cool, so. cool. So he's hey, Jay in the chat. Uh, we didn't do, uh, we didn't manage to get the uh, the audience participation thing last time we played. Jay, if you, uh, if at any point you want to send a message to the uh, to the characters we can uh, have you be some eyes that appear on the walls uh, you can send short messages to the characters that they'll be able to see <laughs> uh, cool so then Keep it clean. we're going to have <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have Dark Orb Phil's turn yeah so Groovex opened the door seeing these creatures I'll just show them up on the screen again these sort of multi-eyed horned dog kind of creatures he's going to kind of drop down to the floor a bit thinking there's some dust you know it's kind of a dusty floor or like sand or something yeah. and yep. um, whatever and he's just going to grab a couple of handfuls of this dirt and just try and throw it into the eyes of these creatures no don't blind my bad guys okay yeah cool <laughs> so that, that's you that's for a deed is it uh, he's just a thief so right okay yeah so he's cool. just just trying to get any kind of advantage on these things um because he cool. doesn't like really being up close to, to stuff um, yep if, that's if, it's a, if it's just a, if Go it's on. just a thief if he if he hits then there'll be no damage but you'll get your effect and so we'll do it yeah does a four hit 
Oh, so close though, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We we'll just add twenty to that; it'd be fine. Um, <laughs> so you, so you, you, you run into the room and you grab some dust off the floor and you're like, have some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what you don't realise is actually going for the magician. I think he's going to try and disappear. Yeah, yeah, him yeah. trying to hide in shadows, and then he looks up, and the lights are there. And he's like, yeah. oh, "Balls, damn it! <laughs> Stupid lights!" Waves fist. <laughs> well, he got away with it too. If it wasn't for your damn pesky lights. Um, <laughs> and Yale is just going to kind of face palm and then just kind of head in, and with with her newly reinvigorated battle axe, it's just going to swipe. Gonna try and hit both of them in one swipe, but um, we'll see what happens with the roll. Okay, cool. That sounds good for me. <laughs> yeah, it was good for you. Um, I mean, I got eight on my actual action die, um, but I did get a three. <laughs> so it would be an 11, which is obviously not gonna hit. It doesn't hit. Uh, 12, actually. Um, Still doesn't hit. I know. Um, so it kind of swings wildly with, with this big heavy axe, but doesn't really have enough control in this small room to, to be able to actually hit them. Yeah, the probably being put off by all the crazy things yeah. in the cages. You, you can you can see a four-armed ape man in, in one of the cages now that you're actually in the room. Is, is one of the things that you got in here. He's whooping and hollering and smashing at the cages. Um, excited by what's happening in in the room. Um, <laughs> okay, so it looks like you've got a yes from some disembodied eyes on the wall. Oh, <laughs> so no. Was it one blink for yes or two blinks for yes? Yeah, one blink for yes. <laughs> yeah, one blink for yes. Yeah. Someone out there is cheering. <laughs> <laughs> We're not sure whom for, but... We'll interpret it as a yay. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it yeah, looks like they've started yeah. spelling on the wall as well. These creatures are swift. Um, cool. Oh. So uh, let's do. <laughs> 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 it's going to be their turn. So they 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 swiftly move across the uh, across the room and um, and, and the, the, their eyes blink and then they they shudder open. Um, really hard at uh well who was it who ran into the room from from your your part of the party phil um it was uh barbo and yarp cool we're gonna go for uh barbo is going to need to make a uh a dc 12 fort save Do I get any modifiers? Uh, you get your fort modifier. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm just having a look. Uh, I get a plus one, so I've rolled an 11. Okay, it was a DC 12. Uh, yeah, 11 plus one. Mm -hmm. Fort save. Burn that. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, maybe, unless there's anything else maybe, that you're going to do as part of this, then maybe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I keep. I think. I don't know if it's the blinking on the wall, but I was thinking of maybe burning some luck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a good idea. <laughs> so, yeah. So we'll burn some luck. Uh, let's burn uh, one. Yep, that'll do it. Cool. So, um, th this this thing comes in and its, and its eyes shoot open. Um, at the ones on its side, and um, you feel yourself, uh, you know, lulling to sleep. You remember, you remember that there is. Uh, you remember this afternoon uh, in Bitterweed Barrow when the sun was shining on your face when you were younger and you were slowly falling asleep and so forth. Your your eyes begin to, to get heavy and, and all that. And as your head sort of lulls down, you look at your fingers and that shocks you back awake because you look at your fingers and your fingertips are beginning to turn to stone. Um, and, 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 you're like, Whoa! and you sort of like shake yourself out of it and you're not sure if you dreamt it or not, but you like, you know, the, your fingers have sort of like returned. Um, but you are shocked awake just in time to be able to see the other one come forward with a bite and hit your AC for five. Take that. Um, and uh, now it's Aaron's turn. 
<laughs> we got some emphatic blinks from the audience. <laughs> Zeb is, um, he's got a real thing about going for the eyes. I mean, it's worked so well on the last couple of goes. So uh -huh. he's, he's going for the eyes. Um, with his trusty uh, short bow. Um, and that's a 16. 17. 16 hits. So, uh, okay, 17 cool. also hits. Cool. Mm. It doesn't. Um, so he was aiming for the, the pupil of the eye on one of those um, creepy dog monster things. Um, but uh, I only got a one on the deep die. So I'd, I'd suggest it probably doesn't hit the uh doesn't hit the pupil you can just do the regular damage for this one yeah. yeah and with that the regular damage is four four points of damage in total okay and was this on the same one that uh, was attacked earlier or is it on a new one on on, on one that hasn't yet been attacked he would have attacked the one that has already been attacked Cool. So, having aimed for the eye in particular, um, I think that was that was for a particular effect. But you, uh, you, you, you may have um, you don't quite know the anatomy of these of these creatures, and so the eye is so, seems to be uh, even more squishy than you uh, <laughs> than, than the eye than you expected. So yeah, you arrow it straight through the center of it, and it falls dead. Uh, your other character is itself a set of eyes so unless it has something special yeah so do any of the creatures Jim, Jim's eyes on the rat um, mm -hmm. survey the room yeah um, she's looking for looking for another host do any of the creatures in the um, cages look like they are um, unconscious pinned or otherwise restrained None of those do look that way. Nah. Okay. I don't think she'll be able to do her dominate then. Whilst... There are lots of there are lots of creatures though, whilst you're surveying the room that looks like you could potentially uh, do the do dominating it. of. Ah, okay, cool. Is there something bigger and slightly more useful than a rat? <laughs> um <laughs> I, I can I can list them off, but it's pretty unlikely that you're going to be doing that in the middle of the fight. So I'll, I'll list them off once we're once we're done, if that's if that's all right. Yeah, I mean, fine. Unless, unless unless it's <laughs> so um, the the other set of eyes uh, sort of looks at looks at your rat and looks back and then looks at a forearm <laughs> ape man, uh, which so, really uh, is exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, and yeah. we've we've, esta well, we've established. Then. <laughs> We've established that the disembodied eyes have eyelids, which means that they are very close to having eyebrows. So I imagine it looks at you, looks at that, and kind of goes, "Yeah, yeah." <laughs> <laughs> the eyes on the back of the rat sort of um, do a. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. Um, cool. Uh, so you've got one more of these uh, these vile hounds in front of you, uh, and it is Phil's turn. Me? Uh, sorry, Dark Old Phil. I broke my yeah. own. Uh, yeah, you broke your own rule. <laughs> broke your own. You broke the Phil code. It's, it's gone. <laughs> um, I wonder what the eyes on the wall are going to say this time. <laughs> <laughs> Last time Yale tried to wield her axe, she was trying to do a kind of a cleave sideways and couldn't oh. quite, had to kind of squish her arms in because the room's not quite. The, the space between the cages maybe is not quite enough for her to actually get her full swing like she normally would. Mm -hmm. So she's mm -hmm. going to just try and over the, over the head like a, a lumberjack kind of chop instead in the hope that that might do something a little bit more effectively, which it totally won't. Um, cool. The eyes on the wall uh, flamboyantly spell for Farg as you uh, take that, <laughs> take that uh, attack. And clearly broadcasting her attack by coming lifting us up, mm -hmm. she she uh, valiantly rolls a three on her deed die and a two on her action die as she swings this, this thing down. Mm. 
Uh, this meanwhile, thing is, this thing walks walk sideways, so it just like kind of steps back a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 meanwhile, um... oh fuck, fuck. Okay. Meanwhile, Groovex um, pulls out the mace, goes to hit this thing as well, but never uses the mace, and with good reason, rolling a four. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah. you know. Why, why break tradition of the session, though, right? By suddenly yeah. actually hitting things. You know? Yeah, I did all my hitting in, in the last one, so, you know. Yeah. In the last combat. So... Yeah, two sides of the same coin, hasn't it, today? Mm. <laughs> Phil, it's your turn. Right, so uh, by this time, Brody's ran into the melee and he's going to um, bash this remaining horned dog with his mace. <laughs> Let's sort that so, out. I'm earlier, but I like it. <laughs> Get the old horn dog. Uh, that's a 15. Nah. Let's have a look. Um, no, I get minus one on melee attacks. That's a, a 14. <laughs> yep. The uh, you know you've 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 had enough hits around the bush to know that it's a 16 you're looking for. Indeed, indeed. So Brody goes in and uh, swings and misses. Um, Yarp's going to go for uh, Staff, so let's do Mighty D first. It's a one, so that doesn't make any difference. Um, D20 for the attack. Why have I never thought of that before? I've been playing this game for like three or four years at this point, and I've never thought of rolling the D died first before you describe what you want to do. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, seven. Um, so that's a miss. Um, shield bash is an eight, and that's a miss as well, I'm afraid. So um, the dwarf does his, um, he's doing his uh, break dancing again. Well, he's probably trying not to look at the eyes on the side at this point, right? You've <laughs> yeah. seen what you've seen must, what happens. Must be, must be. Yeah, yeah. Must be. Um, so in that case, the Barbo's left. Um, um, he was a little bit shook by last time but he's uh, mm. he's still got his sword in his hand and uh, he's uh, I think he knows now he's fighting for his life mm -hmm. <laughs> and he clearly doesn't care <laughs> about his life because <laughs> yeah, he rolled a four so so I'm afraid nothing from my guys okay uh, those dogs are just too quick on all six of those legs cool let's make let's make uh, Yarp do a uh, fort save this time wasn't Yarp last time, was it? No, it was Barbo. Okay, so Yarps, let's have a look. I don't mean to be picking on you, Phil, but I don't like. No, no, well, we're, we're, we're in the melee. We're in the melee. That's other people works, have three. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's have a go. <laughs> <laughs> so you are picking on me? No, no, no. It's okay. Fine. So let's have a look. So my fortification savers. Oh, I've got a plus two on this. Whatever we roll. So it's on a D twelve. Yes. No, it's a D20, but it's a DC D20. 12. Yeah. Okay. So and you've got a fort save. Yeah. So I've rolled a seven with a plus two. So you'd need three. You'd need to burn three luck if you didn't want this to happen. Well, we're going to have to, aren't we, I think? Yarp's got 13 luck, so he can spare a little bit. Sure. But that'll be think the last time he burns any luck today. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so Yacht's beard turned to stone and then pops back into being normal hair again. You, <laughs> you've you've got a set of eyes just uh, inspecting the decor at this point. <laughs> um. Cool. Uh, so that, that's going to be it soon. We've got Aaron now. Yeah, it is. That's that's my guys. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what you want to say about that, really. <laughs> I, I think they deserve to be turned to stone next time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go on. Carry on. It's um, it, it's an old one and a boring one, but it's a goodie. He's um, he's Zeb's gang gang for the. He, he's absolutely. 
six-legged dog certain now he's going to get the pupil of that eye that's uh-huh. that's on the side of that dog he's he's been watching it it's been shifting back and forth and he's he's certain now he's certain he can actually do it and with that he he draws back his arrow re- knocks his arrow releases it and um it's a six and he fails the ni- the mighty deed Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Arrow ricochets off in the oh, wrong direction yeah. as he's distracted by a pair of eyes on the wall that just keep looking down at the floor and round mm-hmm. at the masonry. You're lucky. You're lucky. You've got such a. I mean, you know, it's. I've got this. You got a GM that's got this galactic brain that remembers where everyone is in the fight as well. You've mm-hmm. just fired into melee and missed. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> you want to roll? Uh, Roll under fifty to save your uh, your friends from the ricocheting arrow. <laughs> That's a sixty. All right. No, wait. I said roll under fifty to, to yeah, miss. Yeah, them. yeah. Yeah, you. Do the way. <laughs> roll an attack against. Right, we've got. Uh, uh, you got Brody, got... Barbo, and Yarp all right there in the front of the dog. Cool. They're one, two, and three on my die here, so we're going to roll my d3. It's a two, so you're doing it at Brody, which I think was the juicy one. That's the cleric, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yes. Twelve. <laughs> Just a second. Uh, AC for Brody is 13. Oh! oh. oh. Ink. What the fuck? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> the eyes widen. <laughs> oh dear, they're fighting each other. Um, well, cool. I mean, um, does I'll, the I'll does the, do, do the a, eyes on the rat do anything at this point? I consider it a protest. I think uh, the, the the eyes on the rat. Um, the the rat moves closer and get sort of surreptitiously slides along towards the the full armed ape man in the cage sort of makes their way over to to that they have they have an idea of what they want to do sure on the way to the forearm ape man you pass uh two dire wolves you pass an owl bear as well um on on the on the way to them so these are just some of them some of the other creatures that are in there um so this time it is see like you remember last time when i said phil and i thought that i'd made a mistake i actually didn't make a mistake i was calling for phil so you know screw you guys for making fun of me (laughs) phil is at the top of the order so now it's phil's turn (laughs) which phil Phil. We're all, we're yeah. all confused now. Vanilla Phil. <laughs> I don't think I don't think he's playing today. So which Phil? <laughs> <laughs> oh dearie me. Okay. So is it back with me then? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Sorry, giggling away. I think it's because there's, gonna... owl- there's an owl bear in the room. You know, I mean. When I was a young lad playing D and D, you know they were the most fearsome things you could come across at first. Brrr. Anyway, right, let's go, let's go. So, um, my guys are really going to try and redeem themselves. I mean, at this moment in time, you know, my own party is firing arrows at me because we're doing <laughs> so badly. Get to work. <laughs> so, Yarp is uh, really pissed off. He's going to um, take out the um, right eye on the back of this dog in front of us that's my mighty deed i'm announcing it in advance and i'm rolling the dice and i've rolled a three. and i've rolled a three <laughs> yes yeah, so we are doing it so um d20 for the hit we've rolled an 18 so i think that's going to be Ooh, a hit that'll do it um and we're going for the mighty deed so that's just let me remember what that works out to be for yarp so that's uh so, that's so mighty D3. D's like a. So go on. Go on. My, mighty D's just like a, like an extra cool thing that you do. So yeah, yeah. sometimes you can do for extra damage. I mean, in this in this scenario, I'd probably give you like an extra D three of damage. If yeah, you I was gonna say. Do I, just I, with dice. I was gonna say, and I also get because I've done this. It's um, the dice plus two plus the deep dice that I rolled as well in damage. Yeah. So yep. it's a D four. Uh, let's go for that. 
which I've rolled a two, and then it's plus two, so that's four, and then plus the deed, which was three, so that's five, six, seven points of damage from that. And then, if it's still alive, that was directly in its right eye on its back. No, no, you throw it. No, yeah, sorry, I was waiting for you to finish adding up. You, you killed it. Yeah, you thoroughly yes. redeemed yourself. Uh, coming, coming down on this sort of thing. Um, Yay. What, I, was, I was waiting for you soon. I feel like I might have missed um, something in the chat there. Uh, so the eyes started juggling themselves to distract the forearm <laughs> ape man. Um, I'm, I'm gonna count. I'm gonna count that as it being grappled or otherwise paralyzed, sort of thing. Um, to allow you to, to allow you to um, do your dominate on the forearmed ape man, if you wow, so cool. And I just need to remember. And point of clarification: this is this it. is an ape man with four arms, not just an ape man that has really big forearms, right? Correct. <laughs> Correct. The four-armed ape man. That's what I said. Yes. Yeah. An opposed will save. It says target must uh, must succeed on an opposed will save or be under control. So they've got to um, fail the will save. While just dominating. Let me, just um, let me look up a right. stat block for a four-armed ape man. Um, <laughs> of course, there is in DCC. <laughs> of course there is. <laughs> it rolled a two for its will save, so its stat oh. block does not matter. <laughs> yes. It just don't utterly fail. utterly it uh, doesn't matter. Yeah. But I still need eight man because I that's now my that's now my stat block. Yeah, uh, if you want to look up, just uh, I'll, I'll give Grace, you like a like it. a giant ape or something. Or have you? Oh, you've got an eight man, do you? Yeah, we've got eight man. Ape Man, Man is on page 396 of the RPG 7th edition. 396, you say? Yeah. How many How many arms does he have? Um, a a four-armed Ape Man has four arms. <laughs> oh, there, 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 there. Okay, we were joking. There is a stat block for it. <laughs> yeah. It comes in different flavours. There is oh, a yeah, four well. arm ape man, a jungle ape yeah. man, a white ape man, a giant ape man. Yeah, there's yeah. a picture on the next page. Yeah. Erin, yeah. do you want Erin, if you've got a PDF of that, do you want to to share that so people can see it on the screen? All right, hang on. Let me make you uh, let me embiggen you, Zach. Oh yeah, that's Ooh. a picture yeah, see on the uh, on three nine five there's a picture of all the apes, but if you look on the other side, there's a picture of the four armed ape man. Oh, there's specific okay. fighting oh, everybody. Yeah. There's the forearm. <laughs> <laughs> he's so also cool. got uh, he's also got four nipples from the looks of it as well. I like it. Oh, useful. Well, we know we have to focus yeah, on the most uh, important things here. Good, yeah. good biology, <laughs> uh, right there. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the Goodman Games are known for their uh, their rock solid biology. Nipples. Yeah. Um. So the eyes slide across from the rat onto the foot of the four armed ape man and up uh, the legs and. Yep sort of sit as an extra pair of eyes on the forehead of the oh, you, missed the the... you missed the opportunity to sure. sit above yeah. the nipples. I was going to have them sit on the testicles, but I just laughed like, yeah, sort of... <laughs> I was going to say, unfortunately, because DCC are so anatomically correct, uh, uh, apes' genitals are on the inside of their body, I'm afraid, so, yeah. Yeah, so that wouldn't yeah. work. <laughs> yeah, but they do have four testicles as well, which would make yeah. it even more difficult. You know. Um... <laughs> Cool. So you have an eight man. The rat scurries away, uh, yeah, and and you now are trapped behind a uh, iron bars as a four armed ape man. You are able to speak as a four armed ape man. Uh, so do I so, have basic yeah. language? Well, Brody's really really worried about Gem. She just ran off. I think you you have you have you have basic language in the sense that you have um, you know communication yeah. skills through the use of whoops and hollers. Yeah, and, uh, and, and yeah, and, uh, and and basic oh, tools. Yeah, uh, yeah do it. The, whilst whilst we whilst we're in here, um, and you know things have calmed down a bit. The other creatures that are in here, you've got two giant ants um, that you know. I mean, you're not you're not experts on ants, but they look like workers to you. There is a gargoyle, two dire wolves, an owl bear, and a giant rat. 
Um, all all trapped in cages. What is going on in this place? <laughs> Groovex, <laughs> on the one hand, really wants to let them out. Um, but on the other hand, really doesn't want to die as a result. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so. so it's kind of like... Uh, I, you know, I on, honestly, if, if Groovex goes up and starts messing about with the um, the cages, I'll probably tell him that they're um, all evil and trapped and he shouldn't touch them. Mm. <laughs> because I, I, this is an abomination, all of these. I don't know what's going on. And but I don't know if you saw, but Jem just ran off. The, the rat with Jem on just gone. It went where? I don't know. It just ran off to the back of the back of the room. Disappeared into the dark. <laughs> oh, I hate you, you're so horrible. <laughs> rattling of the bars of the <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, no to do sign language and stuff, you know. Like. Yeah. No no different no different to early when we opened the doors actually. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, this, um, <laughs> this thing saying that if we let him out, um, he's going to kill us. It so did the, look like the that. Eyes, it looked like he was humiliated. The, <laughs> the eyes that are on the wall are looking between uh, Barbo and the ape right now. Oh, They're backwards sort of and like forwards. Looking, looking backwards and forwards between Barbo and the ape, almost, almost like pointing. Oh, uh, I've just noticed the ape man's got extra eyes again. No, oh, yeah. Four eyes. Ooh. Just a second. Ooh. One for yes. Ooh. No, one blink for yes. Don't be a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Have we seen you somewhere before, Ratty? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm right, I know this sounds really weird. But Jem the rat ran away, and now this ape man is acting strange and has got Jem's eyes. Am I? Uh, is is that right? Jem. Oh. One blink. Mm. How do we know that that he's not lying? The, the eyes on the wall roll. <laughs> <laughs> um, how are the how are the cages sealed shut? You know what's, so, what's keeping them locked. <gasps> uh, so they're they're barred up. Let's have a quick look at the map here. You can uh, I've, I've revealed the uh, room that you're in right now. Um, so uh, the ape is probably in one of the larger cages uh, up the up the north side there, uh, and um, you can see that they're just they're pretty traditional sort of like barred doors, uh, like 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 uh, old Bailey sort of prison doors. Alrighty. So uh, so they've got a lock. They do have a lock. It is okay. fairly rudimentary. Um, yeah. Like it, it, it seems seems mundane. If you were to look at it, sort of thing, but it is a lock nonetheless. Um, who thinks it's a crazy idea to break out at least the eight man? I mean, Groovex kind of wants to break out all of them, but just doesn't want to die in the process, and is a little bit concerned that, that this thing was going. <laughs> <laughs> which which has kind of perturbed him a little bit, but then kind of he's watched this interaction between. Well, it's definitely communicating with us, and it, and, and it does um, appear to have Jem's eyes. Hmm. It just says, "Are you going to be a good boy if we let you out?" <gasps> <laughs> Fine. See, well, um, that's exactly what an evil thing would say. Yeah, and teenage boys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, Groovex, and if you smash the lock, I'll be ready in case this is a big mistake. Um, okay. Yart gets his staff and his shield ready just in case this four-armed ape man is a lunatic and not Gem. Go so, ahead. Groovex will try and pick the lock, first of all. Oh! Um, 11, 12, 16 to pick it. Yeah, that'll do it. 
So it kind of just sort of looks at it and it falls open. <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, a magician. And, uh... Okay. So as, 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 well as, it, as well as it paints a picture in my mind of what's going on when you do your hoops and hollers, Aaron, you feel free to describe with words what happens next. <laughs> um, no, I think no, you should just no, be semaphore. Yeah, indeed, just, <laughs> as, just as, the, as the cage door clicks open and the door is pulled back, this enormous um, four-armed ape man stoops and comes out through the cage and very gently taps Yale on the head like <laughs> okay so uh, Yale Yar- starts to lower his shield and staff um, clearly uh, if it's not gem then it's it's also not a threat at the moment what do we think about the other creatures then, Groovex? Um, well, I feel kind of bad that, that they're here, but... Not bad enough to die about it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, you know, when was the last time you had a, a nice interaction with an owlbear? Uh, well, never. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Flip to ow. <laughs> yeah. Emotional damage. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, oh, is there yeah. anything else of uh, of note in here apart from all the weird and wonderful menagerie? Uh, so there's some there's some more double doors in the uh, doors. east. The, the eyes on the wall look at the ants that are in the in, in the area there, but there's uh, there's also some double doors that uh, are off to the side there. Yeah. What do you think about the giant ants? Why are the eyes looking at the ants? How many doors? Where do we go? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Information overload. <laughs> well, yeah, bro- I'll just go and open those next doors, I think. I can say, well, Brody's interested in going back towards where he thinks the the main creature with the pile on eyes was so I'm happy to head head um, east as well so to speak cool. so around you want to head in yeah. here yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah cool <laughs> the eyes on the wall look panicked they are uh, they're skittish <laughs> these eyes on the wall <laughs> um, I had too much cool, coffee so, so you open up into a into a room there. There's some um, smaller doors uh, off to the side there. Uh, what you look, what you're sort of looking at is um, there's some there's some tables and so forth that are there. Some shelves and stuff like that. Kind of looks like a storeroom, um, if you will. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I mean, you, you guys, you, you're familiar with storerooms, right? There's storerooms in Bittery. Yeah, we, we went, to, uh, we went like. to Neblin's Pantry, of course. We've seen loads of storerooms. There you go. There yeah. you go. That's what it looks like. Okay, is that another door in the in the other wall? There is another door there. Yep. Are we going on? <laughs> <laughs> we've got, oh, we've got doors everywhere. I mean, we can go backwards and forwards. A little. We're going to have to explore everywhere, aren't we? In the end, come on, let's go <laughs> forward next door. Yep. So a, a, a yet another smaller room feels a bit cooler in here, like a like almost like a. I mean, oh, we would entry. kind of like it, yeah, yeah. Mm, it's a paradise. A cool room, like a like a fridge sort of thing, but, but like a old school fridge, mm. an an ancient fridge. I should get some you know, kind get of um, out. a dairy. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Are, are there any doors from here? It doesn't look like it. No. Me. Any doors okay. from where? No. Yeah. It doesn't. Yeah. There's no 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 doors in here. Back pedal. Back pedal, back pedal. Back pedal. Yeah, let's go back. Um, which way should we go now? So, is there anything else in that slightly larger pantry room? So, that small room, that's definitely just like a. There's no other doors or. or vents. Can't see anything in there, no. Is there anything? And then in the slightly bigger room, there was only that small door. Yeah, that's, that's there. all you could see there, yeah. No, it does seem strange, doesn't it? A set of double doors into and, nothing. And it's just an empty door. Uh, sorry, an empty room. Uh, there's, 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 no, 
Mm. Yeah, there's not there's nothing nothing in there of interest, I guess. Oh right, but, cool. You know, like, stuff, as in, there's but... stuff in there, but it's kind of like well, you know, it, it's stuff that stuff. gives you the impression that it's a storeroom, right? Like, okay, an ice what cream room. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> there were four more doors back in the kind of like temple with the worm in it, and then there was at least two more doors. In the earthworm corridor as well. Still you guys are lousy with doors. You got doors coming at the wazoo. Mm. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. The eyes follow you around the room in the discon- in a disconcerting way that a pitcher can. <laughs> yeah, they've, been, they've been doing that all, all the time we've been down here. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Cool. So what's up? What's... Uh, where are we going? Exactly. Well, we may as well come back into yeah. that big square room with the snake thing. Yeah, yeah. Maybe just take the room that would be to the right. So that one that's on the top left. So is heading that, west. Is that, <laughs> yeah. Is this one? Is that what this one. one. That? That, yeah. one. that one. Blue one. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Cool. Let's let's open up that door. Ooh. Cool. So what you can see here. Um, the DM stalls for time because wasn't expecting that door to be the one that was opening. <laughs> um, That's what happens when you criticise us for not opening doors. <laughs> <laughs> let's open them all. Let's um, split the party for you, shall we? The door each. <laughs> cool. Uh, so, so you open the room. You can see uh, quite clearly. You know that you, you're no dummies. You know this opens. The both doors open up into the same room here. Yeah. The walls curve uh, as they come in, as you can see them on the map there. And then they suddenly um, flatten at the back of the of the wall, where it meets with a um, an enormous tapestry that hangs from a brass rail. Um, the ta- tapestry hangs down, and it's the same amazing needlework that you saw earlier and if only you could appreciate that needlework a little bit more but the scene that's on it it just it looks like it's kind of it's a lot to take in right so it looks like a cross section of of the underground of the world and there's like layers and on the top layer there's grass and there's light you can see you know some cattle and stuff like that um, and then as you go down, there's there's earth and there's some like smaller earthworms and stuff like that. You know, I, I, that that word maybe foreshadowed what was coming next because next is larger earthworms uh, writhing around below and far less dirt. The larger earthworms almost take up um, you know the space where the dirt is below. And then below that, just after a small section of blackness, is just eyes just all eyes um, under, underneath all of it, just all packed in next to each other, looking in different directions, different shapes and colors and um, sizes. And um, yeah, I, somehow you also notice that there's a wheelbarrow that rests on the side of the room. <laughs> After seeing all that, there's also a wheelbarrow. Um, that is uh, that, that that's on its side at the. I can well imagine that everyone is kind of consumed with this picture, and then um, Yale being not the, the fastest. Uh, Whoa! Is that a wheelbarrow? Or, yeah, not being the fastest <laughs> wheelbarrow in the lunchbox, just going to go. Oh, that's a nice wheelbarrow. <laughs> <laughs> Quite nice. Can't push it on that. The eyes on the wall look surprised. <laughs> I don't get what this place is about. No. Um, so the tapestry, um, so it's kind of like a wall decoration, isn't it? So it fills the entire wall. Is mm-hmm. it? Uh, is there? Uh, you no. Know, is is there anything behind it? Or is it just wall? Can I go and, cool. and have a look? Look around the back of the tapestry. Yeah. So you. Yeah. Well, well deducted. Uh, you pull the the side of the, the the tapestry aside, and you see that the curving of the walls continues around, um, and you can see that just behind it, uh, in equidistant behind it, <laughs> under the tapestry More is the doors. Yeah, seems to be oh. seems to be a, a, a temple to eyes and walls and doors. 
Um, and worms. From, from what you can see thus far. Yeah, eyes and worms and walls and doors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. All serviced by the wheelbarrow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And the wheelbarrow's name is Shiga Vilnistrad. Don't. <laughs> <Not again. laughs> what do people think about, do we go uh, this way? Through the eyes and worms? Or do we go back and have a look through some of those other doors? I mean, it always feels to me like the double door is the the way that you're supposed to go and the side doors are just yeah, like the office. I mean, you're right. I thought that exactly the same, but then we went through a set of double doors and it just went into a bloody storm. We nearly got turned into stone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We went through those last double doors sort of up north and um, it just turned into the ice cream room. Yeah. 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 So I don't know if that's necessarily... I mean, it, there's clearly, you know, they clearly love doors. Yeah. Okay. Gr- Grivex is quite happy to go over and just open the door, open the double door. Have, have a little okay, look. So to make sure we'll, there's nothing we'll shuffle in behind the, uh, the embroidery then and uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> behind the tapestry and we're going to open those doors. Yeah, it's going it, to... It's going to just first make sure that there aren't any traps because he doesn't Honestly, trust I don't them. like. I don't like the look of this guy. Um, but... but with a, a six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, he probably doesn't really know. No, but he is lucky. Um, there was yeah, uh, there was no no traps. Uh, what you do see is a stairwell leading down into this time pitch blackness. Oh, excellent! How, how much? I guess. I, I guess. I guess it, I guess everywhere in this place was sort of like at least dark that you were looking into. Yeah, it. The lights are following above your heads, yeah. right? Like, yeah. mm. Mm. this is dark. A- you can't you can't see the bottom of them. Even Do our, the lights um, turn on if we step down the stairs? Says Zeb and um, just steps down step two in, steps. Steps down the steps. <laughs> uh, they do not. Lights mm. do not follow and, you. Um, and, uh, lights are broken. Even dark for our infravision friends. So as, uh, as far as they can see, can't see any further. You can see stairs going down as far as the yeah yeah infravision it, it people. Okay. Yeah yeah, mm. they did they, they they can see further, but it is yeah, yeah still still stairs. Yep. Uh, Groovex uh, lights his lantern and just says, "Well, shall we?" Ooh, I mean, it, this feels a bit more kind of. Neblin's pantry. Um, Didn't you want to find out what was underneath the? I, uh, I did. I did. Yeah. Well, let's do it. I did. <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's just heading in the wrong direction. I mean, it's down. What are you, ye oldy scaredy cat? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I don't know if you've. I don't know if you've been present <laughs> for, the, for the last few days, but yes, yes, I am a little bit. What's the okay. worst that could happen? Um. <laughs> Oh, you see, that... I, I, I'm with the four-armed ape. <laughs> <laughs> what does the four-armed ape right. do after the yelling? Um, knuckles off down the stairs. Uh, you're, gonna... <laughs> you're standing up here by the, by yourself at the top. Then I think. Uh, no, 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 no! I'm coming! I'm coming! <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming! Let's go! Well, okay. So, has been established that it is it is uh, you know not not magically dark, uh, but very dark uh, as you as you're heading down this way. So, um, anyone without infravision is going to need to consider how they're going to see. Um, I thought was it Groovex? Groovex has got a lantern. Yeah. Front? Yeah. So we've got a lantern. We've got the a front. lantern. Cool. Um, Happy for Infravision guys to either go at the front or at the back, or however it works for everybody. Probably one of them at the front so it doesn't destroy their vision. Yep. Cool. Sure. So shuffling in this corridor, the, the ape stands to one side to let the uh, the dwarves pass. And then sort of follows behind them with the uh, yep. whoever's got the lantern. 
Groove X. Cool. Groove X. Yeah, so yeah, you're going to be in the middle then. Yarp and Barber then at the front. Uh, they are halfling and dwarf, so they can see a bit further. Mm hmm. So that means Yale and Brody in the middle. All let's right, keep going so down. Mm. Let's let's show you some stuff, right? Yeah. So the, stuff. the arrow is the arrow is pointing back up to the way that you came from. Um, okay. So uh, so you're going down those stairs. That they they're curving stone stairs that lead to a large natural rock cavern. Uh, there are. You, it, it's it's quite dark uh, to be able to get here because it sort of uh, you know winds and turns and so forth. But once you get down to the bottom here, there is there are actually some flaming uh, braz, braziers um, that um, you don't know. No, yeah, I didn't I didn't mispronounce that. It's no, I know. I'm just, <laughs> yeah. I'm just being um, stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, my problem is no, that no, I, no. I was just convinced that Zach was going to say flaming galas. So. <laughs> <laughs> flaming, flaming underpants down here, um, and uh, they they flank the bottom of the landing, casting light over half the room, which is the half that you can see there. Um, the smoke from the the, the braziers uh, is sickly sweet. It's um, but but that that sickly sweet smell, um, similar to sort of the uh, the uh, herbs and so forth that you smelled uh, up above, but that's mm. barely covering uh, the the rank musky odor of of, the, of what's down here. It just it, it just it just stinks, you guys. It stinks down here. Um, and uh, the cave slopes downward into further inky blackness. Mm. We seem to be a, somebody seems to anticipate our arrival. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the the eyes on the wall follow you down and look apprehensively <laughs> into the depths. <laughs> yeah, well, I think we all are. I think we all are. Okay. Uh, so, um, Yarp and Barbara are at the front, so they're going to step past the uh, braziers into the room and try and work out what we can see and what we can't see. Cool. Um, for the for the sake of mechanics, would you be down? Uh, there's like three sections here that you could be uh, in the middle section. Down. The middle section. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Straight in front of the stairs. So, so that that's kind of what you see. There is a there is a path following following down that way. I'm not sure if the uh, BTT is doing a great job of showing that, but there is a path down that way. Okay. Mm. Okay. There's a, there's, a, there's a there's a yeah there's a route here in the middle. Well, let's go that way then. Hmm. All paths must lead somewhere, says Zeb. Okay, we, sort of... we, we head off down <laughs> As the ancient uh, saying goes. Yeah. <laughs> we head off down All paths uh, lead somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> we'll head off down the, down the middle path then. Okay, I cool. Getting more and more cautious, but, you know, that's what we're here for. Hmm. Does this enough, slope just down, bring a rat down, down here? Deeper? Oh yeah, we're just, it's just going. Yeah, it's going further, further down. Um, there is like natural, natural rock cavern. It's super mm. dark. You can see it gets it gets thin in sections. Um, this is this is not the worked area that uh, that you've been used to thus far. This is definitely uh, you know naturally sort is of occurring. Just as sort of musty and fusty smelling down here as well. Yeah, Hello? yeah. Now you're not near the braziers. Oof, oof. It's bad. Oh, I see what you mean. So before, the sickly sweet smell was actually masking how bad it was, yes? There you go. Oh, yeah. dear. I don't know oh, I don't know what you think about this, guys. This is just... It's, it's getting more and more unworked, and it stinks. Groovex is going to reach into his pouch. He's got, actually, some herbs, and he's going to burn mm. some of these herbs into the lantern to try and mask the smell a little bit. 
Yeah, great job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, it, now, it, now it now it's now it smells now it smells like bad smell and burning herbs. Yeah, and, <laughs> and and forevermore the burning herbs will remind me of this bad smell. It just ruined every cookery class. It's like he's trying to now. smudge the place, you know, trying to you know, kind of sanitize it and <laughs> just, just keep going. Keep yeah, pushing I think, forward. I think so, yeah, keep Bardo going. Can... Well, yeah, just keep going. Doing. Unless there's anything obvious that says we shouldn't be going this way, let's just keep pushing. Yeah, How think... high are the ceilings? Ceilings are ranging. They're ranging from like five feet to fifteen feet. They're sort of moving. Okay. Like, you know, it's, so it's as like we... all sort of natural. Yeah. So as we um, make our way down this pathway, as as needed, um, the mm. four-armed ape gets on all fours and. and sort of crawls through all the sixes. five foot sections and then uh, all six foot okay and and then um, stands back up again to his full ten foot in height and then keeps how, how, how tall did you say he's ten foot according to the stat block <laughs> yeah so there was a couple of bits there we had to sort of breathe in squeeze through yeah. the uh, yeah yeah at this in, point what, at this what, point the four, four of four times thinking, the height of well, Barbo why why did I pick the four armed ape <laughs> <laughs> Oh my word! Did you see that? Even the eyes are at the back of the group now. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, they're quivering, holding their ten-inch pole. You know. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, but, let's let's keep moving forwards. See what see what we can find. There, Barbo's going to draw his sword. He's feeling very nervous about all of this. Cool. The uh, the 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 maps are extremely artistic, uh, which is great, except for if you want to use them for actual battle maps. So this is it's gone under a another section yeah, of map something. basically yeah, yeah. so you know <laughs> and that's that's why the gaps there um the passage widens into a well-traveled intersection um cool. yeah, there's lots of different ways that are coming off here small footprints lead in in every direction every you know they, they're sort of um they're all all over the place and you can hear muted thumping sounds emanating from the ceiling thum, 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 thum. um and uh there's clusters of mushrooms yeah, that <laughs> there's 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 clusters of mushrooms that sprout from the from floor to ceiling. This whole place is just covered in these mushrooms, these like phosphorescent sort of blue uh, mushrooms with yellow stems. And and a gla- as you walk in, a glassy yellow eye opens in the center of one of the mushroom caps on the roof the and it, tu- it turns it turns and looks at all of you and we'll leave it there for this session ah. <laughs> so many eyes <laughs> not a good uh. module if you've got a thing about eyes <laughs> yeah yeah well, I, did, I didn't have a thing about eyes <laughs> i do now yeah. I mean the clues. The clues right there on the cover. If you don't like eye <laughs> things, right? You know, it's, it's, it's covered in eyes. You know, like, yeah. oh, covered in eyes. That was amazing. Thank you, Judge Fack. That was really, really great fun. I really appreciate it. Thank you to Erin and to Phil for for joining us as always. I'm afraid we had a great time. Let us know what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff, and. Uh, yeah, join the we'll Discord. Talk to join us the about Discord. Big role playing. Join the Discord. Come and talk to us. Let us know what you think of this scenario and of our other actual plays and which games you're excited about. Till then, thank you very much for joining. Hope your dice rolls are way better than mine. Take care, everyone. <laughs> Thanks very much. Ciao. Thank you. Bye. Bye.